Hi, thanks for watching my video. Yesterday I made a video explaining about Lua triggers and adding a camera to activate a camera for a Lua trigger. <clears throat> and I want to make a video, another video, just explaining one more thing about that. Um, so I have a truck here and I have this truck programmed using the uh, script AI manager. And it's just going to drive down here, go around the corner here. But what I want to do is make the Lua area bigger so the truck will enter it and the camera will turn on and then set a default camera on the vehicle, like number five, and we'll go to the interior and have the vehicle drive all the way around here, make the Lua trigger, it will be huge. That's the Lua box. And when it exits, it will default back to the original view. And then you can go into another Lua down here and have the camera change again. So <clears throat> create object, level, I'm sorry, BMMG and Lua. And we're going to place the Lua right about there. And we're going to make it pretty big. Press number three on your keyboard. And let's just start sizing this thing up. It's going to have to be really, really pretty big. So I want to make sure that we get it, get that vehicle right about there. So that the, the objective of this is to get that Lua trigger, that camera to turn on right when that rig enters that Lua right there. And when it goes out over here, it's going to turn off. And when it exits, it's going to go back to the default view of the truck, whatever we choose, which I'll set it to an interior view. So now that we got that done, let's go to create object, level, and camera. Let's get down here a little bit closer to this road before we place our camera. All right, so now we're going to position this camera out here. I spawned it on the road, so I have an idea of its how high it is, how well it's aligned with the surface of the road. So what I want to... No, I don't think right there is good. I want it to be right here. Let's bring it up a little bit so we're looking down. So that's kind of like what I'm looking for. So the camera will pick up on the truck right here. The camera will follow it as it makes its way around here. And when it exits right there, it's going to default back to another view. So that's our camera. So let's go back to our Lua. Well, let's go to our camera up here and highlight this and press Control C. Don't hit Enter because that will disappear. Just come down here to this gray area and just click with your mouse. That way it will stay there. So you've copied that. Now let's go back to your Lua, just right there. And right here on camera enter, highlight that and hit control V and that will paste. And then right here, default on leave, click that box. And that's all you got to do. So let's hit, um, let me do one more thing here. I got some vehicles in the back of that truck that I want to see if they will fall out while the truck is driving. But it's going downhill, so the vehicles are just going to roll to the front, but Let's uh, tab to those vehicles. Press J to unfreeze. Okay, what I was doing there is just releasing the parking brake from each vehicle. <clears throat> so, let's uh, send the 18-wheeler on its way. It should hook up to the trailer as it pulls away. There you can see the, uh, you can see the landing gear retracting. So let's go out here. Now, I'm not going to do anything. I'm just going to let the game do it. I'm taking my hands off the keyboard and the mouse. So 
So there it just entered the Lua right there. Look at the rear tires aren't spinning. Oh, they're not touching the ground. So right about here, it should be exiting the Lua. And now it's going to go back to whatever default view. I didn't choose a default view, but it should go back to the truck. It went back to the cars. Let's uh, reset that. And let's go back to the truck. Let's shift R to reset everything. And I put the cars back in the truck. Let's go tab to the truck, which I believe I'm on the truck. Yeah. So now I'm in the interior. So let's send it on its way again. So shift C will get me away from it. So now I'm going to let it do it its own thing. It's going to enter the Lua. Now when it exits the Lua, it should go to the default view inside the truck. Right about there. And you know, that's cool and all, but you really don't need to do any of that. I mean, you could just come out here, send your truck on its way, just record the scene and let it go. Once the scene's recorded, you can go and play the scene back a hundred times and put your camera in any angle you want. You know, I'm referring to the uh, interior view. These camera views here are options that you can do. But as far as defaulting back to the interior view or the truck view or whatever, once you record it, you can play it back all you want. All oh, the vehicles are in the way. Well, that should be interesting. Let's see if he runs into them. Ah, that is so cool. <laughs> and what we'll do, we'll just do like one more Lua. We'll put one more. Let's put that truck back. I'm going to put the truck back, but I'm not going to put the cars back. I'm going to leave them in the road just like they are. But let's go uh, here, BMMG, and let's put another Lua right there. Select object, number three to resize. <clears throat> and we'll rotate that, number two on your keyboard to rotate. Number one, and let's bring that down a little bit. There we go. So actually, we'll have it pick up right there. Right there would be good. And what we'll do is we'll go add, level, camera, and we'll have it pick up between the two. Place the camera right there on the road. Let's go get that camera. Let's rotate that so we bit easier to work with. <clears throat> let's bring that out, raise it up. And let's go down here and see how this will look. So there's not going to be any camera between when it exits right there and when it gets picked up right there. So this is camera two. Let's go up here and highlight that. Control C to copy. Whoops, I did it again. See, that's why you cannot hit Control Z to undo. All right, I'm just going to have to type camera two. That's why you cannot press enter after that. So highlight camera two. 
control C and then come down here and click. Ah, there you go. That worked better. And let's go to our Lua right there. Control V to paste and default on leave. So this, well, this camera being way over here, but let's just play and see how this works. Shift C will put you in free roam. Oh, and we're still recording a scene, by the way. I forgot about that. All right, there's camera number one. So when it goes, when it exits camera number one, it's going to go back to the default view, the interior view. So I'm not touching the keyboard or the mouse. And then when it exits this one, it's going to go into here. And then when it enters the other one, it'll go to the camera number two. Oh, it didn't go. There's where it should be. There you go. Pretty cool way of using a Lua to activate cameras. Do that in conjunction with your recording tool and go back and get all the video you need and go into your video editing software and splice everything together. Now here, when it exits this Lua, it should go back to the interior of the truck by default. I have no idea where that Lua ends at. There you go. I hope that answers your question, whoever left the comment in that last video. Thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe.